What's going on and welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is Trucking Live with Sean. In today's video, I want to show you something that you may not know. If you were to Google right now the most dangerous jobs in the United States, in the top 10, and most of them are in the top 6, is going to be truck driving. Did you know that? Truck drivers have one of the most dangerous jobs in the United States for several different reasons. Uh, I looked it up today. I Googled it. I looked at so many different angles at it and it all kept popping up truck driving is the most dangerous not only is it deadly but also it can you know leave you main a lot of things can happen out there driving a the truck so in this video I want to outline the reasons why it's so dangerous and then what we can do to minimize that danger keep you alive and keep you safe and keep you going back home with your family so if you got some value from this at the end of the video, do me a favor and smash that like button. I'm trying to teach you things the CDL school will not teach you. Time to treat you the good, the bad, and the ugly trucking life. If you're thinking about becoming a truck driver, if you already are a truck driver, you might want to listen to these points. And maybe it can help you out. All right, so the number one reason that truck driving is so hard is because of the sheer hours that we have to work. You know, FMCSA states that you know we can work 14 hours a day and drive 11. So if we're allowed to drive 11 hours a day, believe me, I'm driving 11 hours a day because I'm not here to not out here to sightsee. I'm out here to provide for my wife, my kids, and a good life. So I don't want to just be loggy hogging around. One thing you will never say about Sean is that Sean's lazy. That'll never happen. It, you'll never hear that I'm a lazy person because I'm not. I will always drive my hours out the best I can unless I'm just tired then I'll go I'll pull over and go to sleep. But as far as being lazy, I'm not lazy. But the problem with that is is that we get tired and we have to learn when to go to sleep. And I'm going to go over the reasons what can help in here in a minute, but in this first part, let's talk about it. The hours. 70 hours a week we're allowed to work. Now, we all know we work more than that. We're allowed to log 70, but when we stop to take breaks, we'd log that off. Uh, we stop and you know take a nap we lock off of that uh, but 70 hours of driving and, and on-duty hours is a lot of hours a week to work we're gone you know for weeks at a time some drivers are gone two or three weeks that for being away from home so just the sheer number of hours you get exhausted and there's drowsy drivers out there that cause accidents you can be the best driver out there but you've got truck drivers all around you that are drowsy and that can be falling asleep and can be tired due to just sheer exhaustion. All right, number two reason it's dangerous is the sheer size of the truck. Man, these trailers are 53 foot long, just a trailer, okay, that I'm pulling. Then we weigh 80,000 pounds. We're like a missile going down the road. And a lot of people don't see that. Uh, Truck drivers, y'all, new truck drivers and old truck drivers, y'all forget how fast that we're going. How, boom, you try to stop this vehicle, it's not as easy as you think to stop. Four wheelers are cutting us off, people are cutting us off, and we're just, we're trying to control it. We can't maneuver it like a car. If somebody pulls out in front of us, we can't just, you know, size lap around it. Things happen all the time, so that makes it dangerous. We see accidents all the time. I do it on my YouTube shorts where people pull out in front of us. We dodge, and then we, they run right off the bridge, run into a tree, run into a pole, boom, dead. So you have to watch out. You know, a deer runs out in front of you. You got to keep it steady. If you swerve, man, you can lose control. You know, very simple, just because of the size of the vehicle. So maybe the public, should, you know, hopefully they can start, maybe they see this video and this will help them. But, okay, uh, number three is just, you know, we have to navigate places that are unknown uh we are out there riding around places we've never been to before it's not like it's you know sometimes we get to go back to the same place but sometimes we've never been to some of these places it's unknown we have unpredictable weather i mean we're gonna be driving all of a sudden boom storm just it's just raining on us it's thundering it's lightning it's uh you know we come in the fog this morning i was coming over the mountains in tennessee and it got so foggy i could barely see uh, and then it'd be in Florida, it might rain for a minute, stop. We have tornadoes we have to deal with. We have ice storms. We have blizzards. I've gotten stuck, and you see some of my videos, where I had snow above the door out here, so much snow. Where I, I had to get a shovel to dig out of the truck, literally, uh, to get out. Because uh, there was so a snow drift that fell on the side of the truck. Got a video on that, y'all. Check it out. But um, 
So, and, and you know, you have tornado weather you got to deal with. You have unpredictable weather that makes it very dangerous also. Uh, and then you have poor road conditions. You know, I don't know if y'all have driven out lately out in, you know, Detroit, uh, even some parts of Kentucky, but everywhere. I mean, it's in every state, Illinois, Georgia, everywhere. Roads have gotten bad. And uh, you've got potholes. I mean, I, there's some places I, bam! You know, they just, it feel like I'm driving a third world country because it gets, it gets really ugly out there. And a lot of holes and, and, and uneven pavement. Uh, there's bridges, and this is also said online, there's bridges that are, are falling apart in, in the United States. So we have, that, that, makes it, that makes it really dangerous. And then you've got traffic, okay? You've got such congested areas in some of these high cities like Atlanta, Houston, even down in Orlando, Florida, uh, Chicago. It gets so congested that people seem to make mistakes and drivers are driving crazy and trying to hurry you home. and that can make it also very bad, bad, bad. And the last thing that makes it dangerous is bad companies. There's good companies out there, but there are some bad companies out there that will try to run you illegal uh, and try to get you to do things that you shouldn't do. Uh, run over your hours, drive in bad conditions. Those companies I won't work for. But those are the reasons that, that truck driving is one of the most dangerous. Now, my, my channel is not about speaking fear and, and trying to scare you. I'm out here driving, driving 15 years, I'm over a million miles safe driver, and I hope I get another million more miles. Uh, and I'm a trainer with Rosedale Transport, and I don't want to speak fear. I believe the Lord gives us wants us to be prepared and gives us a spirit of freedom and a peace and a sound mind. So now I want to go over the things that you can do to minimize dying out here and actually get back home to your family uh, with all parts. Okay. Number one, we talked about hours of service. Okay. When you're tired, you gotta pull over. Do not drive sleepy. I say this to my trainees, anybody y'all watching that, you know, if you were one of my trainees before, how many times, let me know in the comments, how many times I say, hey, don't drive sleepy. Let me know if you need me, but don't drive sleepy. Don't drive sleepy. I say it so many times, is when you're tired, you make mistakes, you don't you don't think right. Uh, I would rather pull over. I've had a driver that was training drive three hours. He said, man, I, I need to pull over. That's okay. We put over to a two hour nap, because he was tired. Then he got up and drove around the clock. When you're tired, you gotta pull over. Last night, I was 21 miles from my destination, but we already drove so many miles, and I didn't have to be there the next day, and I started getting tired. I pulled in a gas station, and uh, my trainer said, you done? I was like, I'm tired, Bob. I ain't driving sleepy, because when I start getting sleepy, you start making mistakes. Now, you need to know the signs. What makes you, and I've got videos on fatigue driving, so make sure you check that out, but look, start looking for signs you're yawning, you're driving, you know, 100, 200 miles, and you don't remember passing nothing, um, eyes are starting to burn, you know, things like this, there's, there's signs that you need to know that you're getting sleepy and pull over. All right, driving a truck, 80,000 pound vehicle. Okay, sometimes we can't help it, but watch our following distance. All right, if you don't follow too close and you drive slow, you got a better chance of not killing somebody or killing yourself. Now, we can't help if somebody cuts us off, stuff happens, when they, when they cut us off, if we're not going real fast and we're out focused and we're ready, then we'll be able to maneuver like we should and get in and out and around these certain things. Um, so you need to be thinking of a way out all the time. I'm thinking about things like if I was the jackknife right now, I need to turn into the jackknife. I need to turn into the jackknife. I'm thinking about that when it's ice outside. If I start sliding this way, which way do I need to go? I, I, don't, I don't need to get my brakes. I need to get soft. I'm thinking about this stuff, so I'm staying prepared almost like a boxer. You know what I'm saying? It's ready to fight. you got to be trained and ready, so don't just give up your training. Uh, that's why I like doing this channel, and that's honestly why I like training. Because when I'm training, I'm constantly talking about these safety things, and I get my, I hear my own voice in my head saying, "Don't, don't change that lane so fast. You need to back off, Sean. You're getting too close. You need to slow down. You know, man, it's raining outside." I remember these things, so and I listen to other channels. I don't just listen to mine. I, I, I encourage you to go out there and find trucking channels. If it's not my channel, find somebody's channel. And listen to them. Ask questions of the truck drivers. Listen to podcasts. I listen to CDL Talk on uh, it's a podcast. I listen to that. I listen to whatever I can to educate myself. Why? Because I am like a boxer. I am a fighter, but I'm fighting to get home. I'm fighting to get home to my wife. I'm fighting to get home to my kids and to make money. So I take this job seriously because you should because it's your life. 
Uh, if you understand what I'm saying, hit that like button and let me know in the comments. All right, and then as far as the poor road conditions, you got to plan out, but you know, the roads are just bad, so you're just going to have to slow down. Don't go too fast for conditions. Pay attention to your signs. Make sure you're, uh, you're, um, you're planning right. Uh, not just blindly following the GPS. Are you Googling uh, places where you're going, seeing what they look like? Or you use your atlas? Um, do you have a CB radio? Are you listening to your CB radio uh, when you're in bad weather conditions? Things like that. All right. Uh, and then traffic, as slow as it goes. I remember I've always said this, stay smooth. And what I mean by smooth is, y'all have heard me say it, drive smooth. Smooth means smooth to the brakes. Don't accelerate real fast, smooth. Don't know irky jerky. Smooth when you turn. We turn the lane smooth. Keep it smooth, drivers, you know what I'm saying? That way you can keep it smooth and you can get back home. And the last is bad companies. Don't work for no bad company. If a company's trying to get you to do something illegal, get away from them. If they got bad equipment, get away from them. That's another thing I didn't even put on there a while ago as far as equipment. You need to check your equipment, do a good pre-trips. If you got bad, if you're not doing a good pre-trip, post-trip, things are gonna happen. I had a, a, a driver the other day. He said he was looking at his trainer, tra trailer and his tandems had come loose. And it was sitting on top. If he would have kept driving, it could have slid off. It caused major problems. But he noticed it because he did get a pre-trip. He got it fixed. Now, I actually got this trailer. So I, they got it fixed. And we had to go pick it up yesterday. But um, you've got to do your pre-trips and your post-trips. But speaking of good companies, if you're right out of school and you want to go over a good company, when I got out of school, I chose Rosedale Transport where I'm at. And thank God I did. Um... I hired, they hired me right out of school. I worked here three and a half years left. I tried other carriers. I went to Heartland. I did hot shots, did a few other things, but I came back because I didn't know no better what, what it was like to have a good company. If you're looking for a good company, call 706-226-1003. Ask for Tina. Tell me, boy, Sean sent you from YouTube, and they'll hook you right up. They'll actually reimburse your school. They'll, they'll keep you in good equipment. They'll get you home every week. Uh, and that matters, okay? And, and, and get your miles and pay you good, but they don't run illegal. They do everything by the book, and that's a great thing, and I'm totally blessed that I have that. It's good to be able to. And when I went to Hot Shots, I worked for a company that wanted me to run illegal. Uh, I was sleeping in the truck. No, they wouldn't give me no hotels. I was trying to sleep in the back seat of a pickup truck. No good, no bueno, no bueno. I was glad to come back to Roseville Transport. I'm glad to be back. Again, their number's right on the screen right here. Check it out. Call them if you're experienced drivers. Y'all need to come over here, too, because the company's going to treat you with respect. Plus, they're going to give you this huge sign-on bonus. If you tell them, you know, your boy Sean's in you, <laughs> tell them, ask them about the sign-on bonus when you ask for Tina. Uh, they'll hook you up. I believe it's like $4,500. But, y'all, guys, I get twenty eight to 3,200 miles every week. I'm home every week. I'm driving a brand-new truck. Most of the stuff's driving hook. Why wouldn't you want to come? If you want to be a company driver, come on here to Rosedale. They also accept owner-operators, too, if you got your own truck, by the way. But, anyway, I appreciate y'all watching this channel. I appreciate all y'all that have subscribed. Thank you for leaving your comments. Many blessings. I'm just trying to teach y'all the good, the bad, and the ugly of trucking. If you got some value from this, smash that like button, subscribe, and go ahead and hit that bell notification so you can always get up-to-date videos when I post them. Thanks again for watching. Y'all have a good night. God bless.